jump over the rope for beginners. Today, we are going to be talking about the common mistakes for those who can jump the rope properly and some exercises to improve. There is two cases where kids can't control the rope and where their hands do not coordinate with their feet, which means that you should jump at the same time you swing the rope. Swing jump is a good exercise for those who can't control the rope. And now we are going to introduce some exercises that will help those who need to work on coordination of hand and feet. First, practice the basic bounce with feet together. The part of the body where the brain sends more stimulus is the hands, so it is okay to practice hands moves once you have mastered basic bounds. Practice with a partner holding hands together. Keep your heels up and feet together and focus on the jump. You will be able to coordinate hands and feet if you practice clapping your hands with a partner. Practice the second step once you are able to perform over 50 jumps by yourself. Second, jump over the basic bounds. Even though you can perform basic bounds well, it is easy to trip over the rope. So you have to remember the process of basic bounds. In this second step, you will try to jump over the rope after bouncing 5 times. As I mentioned before, you will be able to move your hands simultaneously by now. Try to jump over the rope after bouncing 4 times and then 3 and so on. Third, jumping two times every time the rope swings around. And finally, jumping only one time every time the rope swings around, and you will have to master jump over rope, basic bounce. This day will be your first success. Congratulations!